so here we're going to be looking at conditional probability. Um, and this is again often with tables, but sometimes other situations as well. And these are situations where the question kind of tells you some extra information about a particular group that you're looking at. And it will kind of cut down on what you have to look at, really. And in a sense, one thing that you can do is think about crossing out what you don't need or highlighting what you want, like what's the hint that's been given to you. So if we use the table from above, and this time I've included the totals on there for us so we don't have to add them up again. But let's take a look at how this works out. And the language often used in this are things like given. So if you see the word given, you know you're dealing with a situation like that. So, given that a student is in year 11, what that tells us is that we now know We now know they're in year 11, so that's giving us a huge hint. I no longer care about the year 9 or the year 10 students. I know that it's only going to be a year 11 student, so basically, I know that it has to be out of this category here only, so that's highlighting what I know. And that's a hint, so they've made it easier for me to guess. Like if they had said, what's the probability they're taking drama? Well. I'm taking a guess, and it could be a year 9 or year 10 or year 11 student. That's out of 836 students. So, um, in this case, it's going to be something less than that. I'm now looking at just out of 236 students instead of 836 students. So, I'm now looking out of the year 11 pile only. So, out of those year 11s, the ones taking drama are 150 out of the 236. So you still look at the ones you want out of the total possible. And here the total possible again is no longer 836 because I know they're year 11. The total possible has to be 236. So if we take a look at this, 150 divided by 236, you're going to get 0.6356. Okay, so that's our given, so narrowing down the sample space. If we look at the next problem, if a student is in year 10, what is the probability they do sports? So I have not used the word given here, but they've told me if the student is in year 10. So we're kind of saying, well, what if? This is your hint, and this is what's been given. So we now know that they're only going to be a year 10 student. So if I look in the year 10 student category only now, I have 282 students to look at. What is the probability that they do sports? So that's going to be 85 out of the 282 year 10 students. So 85 divided by 282 and I get 0 0.3014. So the language there is a little bit more hidden, but here I'm saying if a student is in year 10, so that's, that's the hint right there. Well, I know that the student's in year 10. Um, what's the probability that they do sports? Next one here, what is the probability that a drama student is in year 9? So this one again, tricky, and I've got to suss out out of here which is the part that's been given to us as the hint. So what is the probability that a drama student is in year 9? So is in year 9, that's the question, that's what they're asking you. So I need to figure out, okay, who's the year 9? And in this case, what is the probability student that a drama student? So that's the part that they're telling me here. I'm out of the drama student category. So this is my hint here that's been given to me. The hint in this case is that I have a drama student. So what is the prob probability that a drama student, so we know that it's a drama student, is in year 9? So my total number of drama students is 485. And my year 9 drama students 
is 170. So 170 out of 485 gives us 0 0.3505. So again, for these ones it's tricky, but you've got to watch out for it. Any time that they use the word given, that's definitely going to be a problem where you want to cut down your sample space. Things like if, or any time they actually give you some information or give you a hint. And the thing that you want to keep in mind is that it's never going to be the category that they're asking you about. So for instance here, is in year 9. I'm not looking out of the year 9 students. I'm looking out of the drama students. And again here, what is the probability they do sports? I wasn't looking out of the sports group. I was looking out of the year 10 group. What is the probability that they're taking drama? So I wasn't looking in the drama category for this question. I was looking in the year 11 category to figure out which of those were going to take drama. So take the time to highlight or kind of, you know, somehow categorize, mark off in your table which ones you're looking at. But that's how these problems work. You narrow down the possibilities that you have. The probability is still using the same formula in a way. Desired out of total. But here you want to make sure that it's possible. The total possible. So in these cases, the total possible is no longer the complete total of everybody involved, but we're narrowing it down by giving you a hint, which kind of gives you a better chance at guessing it right, I guess. It increases the probability if you've got a hint.